What PSH allows us to do is to capture fish in basically perfect condition in large quantities. This could potentially change the way fishing is done. So rather than landing dead fish on the back of boats, we can now land live fish on the back of boats. We could bring them back to holding facilities. We can keep these fish basically for as long as we want. The latest survivability numbers for uh, precision seafood is showing a remarkable increase in survivability rates. This is exactly what we've been targeting, it's what we've been working for. We're just very pleased to see it coming through now in our validation work. In shallower depths, so from around 0 to 20 metres, we've had survival of 100%. Uh, and in the deeper water, so 20 metres plus, uh, we've had around 79% survival of sublegal snapper coming on board. I think um, that is pretty much on a par with the published values for hook and line fisheries. So that's your conventional guy going out on the boat and, and uh, catching a snapper from over 20 metres. Yeah, we're, we're in the, the ballpark with the hook and line. This is a lengthy project. We're seeing rapid gains now, but obviously we've got a lot of uh, work to do in the background about validation, uh, changing the regulatory environment, and then bringing it through to commercial reality in terms of a rollout to, to the wider industry. Now that we've got very good survivability rates, our next steps are to improve our onboard handling, our grading and sorting, and our distribution through to our consumers. Overall, um, you know, the high quality fish um, will taste better, um, will be easier to prepare, easier to, uh, uh, you know, easier to plan for, um, and uh, if we control uh, the, the volumes and the, um, uh, you know, regularise the supply um, through these technologies, then, then it's a lot more predictable um, and accessible for the consumer. So uh, the fish win, the consumer wins, the processors win. When I got into science, into marine biology, I got into it because I wanted to give something back to the ocean. One way you can do that is working on conservation methods and just simply trying to protect and stop fishing. Another way that you can approach this is to look at how we can improve traditional fishing methods to have as little impact as possible. And we're getting very close to that with the PSH program. I, I didn't think that in my career I would I would have the privilege of being a, a part of such an awesome program. We've got huge support from our industry, which is, you know, 10 years ago um, wouldn't have been the case. But brilliant industry to be involved with, um, fantastic guys to work with, and we're making fishing better. It's, it's a huge change in fishing. It's been, you know, it's the same for 150 years, and we're turning it on its head, essentially. It's, it's awesome. <laughs>